Exploring the Circles of Hell in Dante's Inferno Dante's Inferno describes nine circles of hell, each designed to punish a specific category of sin. The deeper the circle, the worse the sin, and the punishment becomes increasingly severe. Imagine living forever in a place where everything's calm, but unbearably empty. Welcome to Limbo, the first circle of hell. This is where souls go if they lived virtuously, but never knew Christ. No fire, no torment, just eternal longing for a heaven they'll never reach. Think great minds like Homer, Socrates, and Virgil. Good people, wrong era. Would you prefer this quiet sadness over fiery torment? Let me know in the comments and follow for the next circle of hell. Thrown around in a violent storm forever. Sounds like a nightmare, right? Welcome to the second circle of hell, lust. In Dante's Inferno, the second circle of hell punishes the souls of the lustful with violent storms. Here, souls who were overcome by passion in life are caught in an endless hurricane. They couldn't control their desires, so now they have no control over their bodies. Famous sinners here? Cleopatra and Helen of Troy. Is eternal turbulence a fair punishment for lust? Eternal rain, filth, and freezing sludge. That's what gluttony gets you in Dante's hell. The third circle is for those who overindulged in life. They're trapped in vile slush, pelted by icy rain, forever symbolizing their insatiable appetites. Oh, and they're tormented by Cerberus, the monstrous three-headed dog. Could you survive a cold, muddy eternity? Like and follow for the next sin on the list. Circles of greed and wrath. Imagine pushing a giant boulder forever, only for someone to push it right back. Welcome to the circle of greed. In this fourth circle, Hoarders and wasters clash endlessly, rolling weights against each other in a pointless struggle. It's a reflection of their obsession with material wealth during life. Trapped in a swamp of black water, forever fighting or sinking. This is the fifth circle of hell, wrath! The wrathful fight each other in the river sticks, while the sullen drown beneath its surface, choking on their anger. Both groups are consumed by rage, just like in life. Think you'd end up here? Let me know and follow for more Inferno punishments. Torments of heresy and violence in Dante's Inferno. Flaming tombs as far as the eye can see. This is the sixth circle of hell, heresy. Heretics, those who deny divine truths, are buried alive in burning coffins. The fire symbolizes their rejection of the light of God. And these flames, they're eternal. Boiling blood, burning sands, and a forest of tormented souls. This is the seventh circle of hell, Violence! Split into three rings. Violent against others are submerged in boiling blood. Suicides become tortured, lifeless trees. And blasphemers burn on flaming sand under fire rains. Which punishment do you think is the worst? The infernal circles of fraud and treachery. Liars, can artists, and flatterers, welcome to the eighth circle of hell. Fraud! Here, sinners suffer in 10 ditches. Flatterers are plunged into excrement. Thieves are attacked by serpents, and corrupt politicians are boiled in pitch. Each punishment is tailor-made for the fraud they committed in life. Frozen in ice forever, surrounded by the ultimate betrayer, Satan. This is the ninth and final circle of hell, treachery. This is where traitors end up. Judas Iscariot, Brutus, and Cassius are chewed by Satan himself. Everyone else is trapped in a frozen lake, immobile reflecting their cold-hearted betrayals. Would you rather burn or freeze for eternity? Final wrap up. We've traveled through Dante's nine circles of hell, from quiet limbo to the icy depths of treachery. But what does it all mean? Dante's Inferno isn't just a journey through punishment, it's a warning. Each circle reflects how sins spiral out of control, taking us further from humanity and divine grace. The punishments mirror the sins, showing how our choices define us even in death. The deeper you go, the more personal the betrayal becomes. Lust affects others, fraud deceives, and treachery destroys trust itself. It's a vivid lesson in morality, wrapped in one of history's greatest epics. Which circle shocked you the most? And would you survive Dante's hell? Let me know in the comments, hit that like button, and follow for more fascinating journeys through history, literature, and beyond.